Hello and welcome to another episode of Gameathon News. I am Ferinox, and as usual, today I will bring you more information on what will be happening the following weekend in regards to charity gaming marathons and the charities that they will be supporting. Now, you've heard about it already. I've talked about it. Well, Mass Effect Marathon 2.5 is having another showing this weekend, and I do highly... Uh, recommend you go see it. I had a highlight of that on the previous episode. I don't have a highlight this time, and that's mostly because I kind of did this at the last minute, um, but I'm trying to get my stuff together and actually make this more professional, um, but in general, again, once again, these are good people. They are fantastic people. If you still haven't gone and seen... Um, Elcor Twilight, you seriously should. It's hilarious. But these guys are funny, and it's definitely worth checking it out. I think, um, it wasn't last week, but on the 12th, they actually, uh, got a decent donation and sung the My Little Pony theme song. It was fantastic. It was horrible. My ears were bleeding afterwards, but it was fantastic. <laughs> but again, good people. 12 hour stream. From uh, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Playing Mass Effect 3. I think they'll be finishing the game this time around. Uh, so that's going to be fun stuff. They've raised a good bit of money. in what they've done, they've actually managed to raise nearly $5,000. Which is fantastic. And I want to say that the 30000 is... I don't know. I have to ask them about this. I should have already asked them about this. I want to say that's actually the goal for Mass Effect Marathon 3. Um, so the fact that they made this much money, they have gone on record saying that they weren't expecting to get this much for a child's play. Who who is who they benefit? It's right up here. Um, just in these three streams, but they've done a fantastic job, and people love giving money to charity when these guys are entertaining them. We can only hope to live up to the uh, the example that these guys have set forth. But on that note, we're going to move on to the next one, and that is Skulls for Tots. Skulls for Tots is a fantastic thing. I don't know how many streams they've done, but they raised a good deal of money uh, for Child's Play with their Halo Marathon, which is where the Skulls for Tots thing comes from. Basically, a certain amount is donated, and they have to do uh, missions on, I want to say Legendary? Either way, whatever difficulty they do it on, uh, with certain Skulls, therefore certain challenges, challenge modes activated um, in the game on Halo 3. They went for a good while, raised a good bit of money. I don't know the numbers, unfortunately, but they're doing another one. Uh, this Memorial Weekend, they're going to play some ridiculously hard games. Give me a moment for the page to load. They're going to be playing VVVVVVV N+, which I don't even know what that is. Bit Trip Runner, which is a fantastic game. I kind of enjoy that one. Super Meat Boy, which is all kinds of rage-worthy, and of course... Uh, and they say, if we raise enough, there's your challenge, people. I want to be the guy. Now, I want to be the guy is probably the most rage-inducing game because of the difficulty involved. But these are all going to be fun to watch, I would think. Again, this is this is like a typical marathon. This is going to be a room full of people playing ridiculously hard games. Uh, and I think it would be fantastic to watch. But, I should throw out there, they have a nice little fun thing going on. If you donate $25 or more, they will home bake you a dozen cookies you get yourself some homemade i can't highlight this correctly homemade thin mints homemade mini peanut butter cups or some chalk caramel filled truffles if that's not an incentive to donate to charity i don't know what is guys seriously it seems absolutely fantastic and uh yeah it's all looking fun I don't know where the copyright Blizzard Entertainment is coming from. I just now noticed that. But uh, check that out. That's totally worth viewing. And hey, hey, come on. 25 bucks to charity and you get cookies? You help children in hospitals and you get cookies. Oh yeah. And I do believe... I say that, I say that, but I think... I do believe they're actually supporting Child's Play as well. Although... I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll be perfectly honest. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, they are also going for Child's Play. Now, I pulled all of this stuff off the Child's Play calendar again. Um, 
and mostly because I couldn't find anything on GenStream. I do want to throw it out there again. If you are doing a, ch a uh, charity marathon, doesn't have to be for Child's Play. could be for the American Cancer Associate Association. You could do even be doing it for your local hospital. I don't care. But if you're doing a charity gaming marathon, I want to know. Email me at forcarensake at gmail.com. And we'll throw around some information. I'll get uh, custom to what you're going to plan, what you're doing. Get some information set out so I can do this. And I will mention you on one of these videos a week before it happens. So uh, hopefully we can, raise, uh, we can raise awareness for this kind of stuff. It's all fun. I greatly enjoy watching it. I hope you do too. We'll go ahead and move on to the next one. The next marathon. And there are a lot of marathons going on. And I'm sorry I'm not throwing out any of the um, times and dates really. I apologize for that. I honestly, off the top of my head, don't know what um, Skulls for Tots is doing. There's at, but maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll throw out a retweet and uh, let you guys know that. You can, uh, I believe, their Twitter is at for at Skulls for Tots. Um, we also here have headshots from the heart. Now, what this is is, I believe it's actually going to be legitimately four people playing Borderlands for I want to say 48 hours. Mm. Or maybe 24. Looks like 24. Um, but what they're going to do is... I'm trying to look... Yeah, 24-hour period. What they're going to do is they're going to take their donations also for Child's Play. But here's the thing. You get to choose which bosses and enemies and how many... Or what areas or areas in which they have to get a certain amount of headshots... Crit or otherwise known as critical strikes in the game. At that point, if they are able to achieve this, or if they agree to it, you then donate, and they have to do this. There is literally no way for... Th they, they have to do this. I'm fairly sure if they don't do it, after claiming that they would and you've donated, that you could actually take legal action if you wanted to. Ra Rated M from Marathon was having a fit about that the other day. Um, but yeah... This sounds incredibly fun, and another one I might very well watch. I don't know if I want to watch the rage-inducing uh, Memorial Day from Skulls for Tots or this, because this looks like it'll be incredibly fun. But that is going to happen on May 26th, starting at 12.30 and ending May 27th at 1. Uh, right now, out of those three, Skulls for Tots, I believe, is the longest one running. So, uh... I would definitely spend more of my time there personally, but I dare I, I trust me. You want to check out all these people. Now the other thing I don't know I have little to no information on these, um, but here's what it is: we have Doc, uh, as in David Doc Rogers, I believe is how what he goes by, is doing a 48-hour Gears of War 3 marathon for Child's Play. Now I'll be honest, I have little to no um, information on this. I couldn't find much on uh, DavidDocRogers.com, and this uh, this Facebook link here actually goes to your personal events page. So uh, we might need to upload the update the links a little bit, but that's here. I'm going to copy paste this into the video, uh, the doobly doo down below. And uh, I don't know. It sounds like it'd be incredibly fun, but I don't know the person, and I don't really know where to go with that, but it's definitely worth throwing out. It is another charity event, and uh, if you guys, if someone, if somebody knows this person and wants to uh, throw me out some more information, uh, please do so. It will be retweeted, it will be tweeted, it will be put on Tumblr uh, as necessary. The other thing is, again, uh, I save these two for last because I'm just really iffy on them. Um, keyboard and mouse, or die, is doing enough is doing a charity a uh, child's play charity themselves but I honestly have no idea what's going on I know they're playing games but I don't know if they're being streamed or what channel they're being streamed to so uh, to keyboard and mouse or die and uh, David Doc Rogers I apologize for having little to no information about your uh, events um, I'm gonna try to take more put more effort out into getting this information in the future and try to make these a little bit higher quality but uh hopefully hopefully awareness will be spread and people will uh throw out some stuff but if you guys have stuff to add feel free to throw me some comments throw me some tweet some tweets at at Farinox. 
Or you guys can even go ahead and email me at uh, forkarensake at gmail.com, and I will try to do my best to clarify any information that I missed. So on that on that note, guys, I just want to throw out a reminder, For Karen's Sake is coming up, and I hate to say this, but we have a bit of a warning. We might end up having to cancel it. I've had some issues getting the days off myself, and my younger brother, who is part of the leveling team and will be doing a majority of the marathon, is also having trouble getting the time off. So we're going to see what happens, and I will throw out an update on the next video on that. But worst case scenario, if we do have to cancel it, I will do my best to get something happening uh, because I really want to get this money going to Child's Play, and I've been planning this for a good long time. So, worst case scenario, I'll figure out something, even if it's just a 12-hour Diablo marathon. But something will something will happen. Um, so, that's, that's about all I have, guys. Thank you for joining us on Gamathon News. Thank you for coming to this site. Uh, if, you know, if you don't mind me doing a little bit of selfless plugging, check out uh, the DH Legacy channel. I'm, I'm unfortunately having a bit of a hiatus and not uploading much. But please, check out what we've got, and uh, make sure you head over to childsplaycharity.org, because again, this is a fantastic charity. If you don't know what Child's Play is, or the reason why many of these marathons, or myself, am uh, doing charity work, f doing these marathons for them, what they do is they gather this money and they send it to children's hospitals. Uh, this money is then, well, actually, this money is used by Child's Play, and with the help of Amazon to purchase games, toys, and forms of entertainment for kids who are in these children's hospitals for extended stays, or even just a few days, I think. But basically what happens with these toys and games is they uh, distract the kids and shift their attention away from the illness or pain or whatever reason they're in the hospital, and this actually promotes healing. There is um, unconfirmed or at least un-solidified um, news that they are also spreading their organization to um, domestic violence shelters, which will be a great help. Basically, these people are ensuring the happiness of the future generation through gaming and toys and just the goodwill of the gaming community. And the gaming community has done a lot. So thank you again for joining us. And we will see you next week with the next weekend's Game of Thrones. Have fun, everybody.